Hello and welcome to Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. We're in New England. We're bringing you recipes back from New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Maine. Today we're in Rhode Island. We're going to bring you back so many wonderful recipes. We've some great restaurants. We found the local favorites. We're going to bring those back and try to recreate those so you can cook them in your own kitchen on the cheap. You know one of the best things about travel, Mrs. What? Farmer? What's the best thing? It's coming home. You think? With new ideas, with absolutely a new perspective on things. That's true. You've seen this and you've seen that you've never seen before. And one thing that we really like to do and hope to do is to go to some restaurants and say, okay, hey, that was really good. Now let's bring that back home and, and try that. You're good at that. You do a good well, job. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Now we've got some great recipes. Some of them seafood, some of them not. Yeah. If you don't like seafood, I still suggest you try some of these. Oh, that's good. Now we went to the Northeast. Mm -hmm. There's two states I haven't been to, and that was New Hampshire and Maine. Boom, mm -hmm. seen them all now. You're happy, and, and aren't you? And every one of them. That Northeastern coast is beautiful. Yes, it was. Wonderful. If you haven't been to that part of the country, you really need to plan a trip. We flew on a very cheap airline, mm -hmm. and what was it round trip for each of us? Under $100. Under $100. We stayed in Providence, Rhode Island. Now, what's, what's the great thing about Providence, Rhode Island? The restaurants, and they all were delish. What happens when you have a whole bunch of restaurants? They have to compete against right. each other and they make sure good. that they're doing good things. Mm -hmm. Oh my, Yeah, that's the food scene. Yes, it was. More restaurants per capita than any of the big cities mm -hmm. when you look online and start finding these things. And one of the reasons we wanted to stop there. You know what I noticed? Dunkin' Donuts. Everywhere. In the airport. There was like three in the airport. So then I knew we had... No. Coffee and donut yes. capital of the world, and boy, they like their Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, they do. There are more Dunkin' Donuts up there per capita there than I one, think I anywhere think, in the United yes, States. every exit had a Dunkin' Donut. It did. Was that an enjoyable trip for you? It was fun, yes. We got to drive up the coast mm -hmm. and see that beautiful scenery. There's so much history up there. Right. Here's, here's us completely. We, now, we rented a car. Right. And the car rental was fairly cheap because mm -hmm. the, tra the travel was cheap, so we spent a little more on the car right. the top down. So as we traveled up the coast, we had seafood everywhere. We had lobster in every state, I think. <laughs> every place we went, we saw lobster roll. We had right. the best lobster roll. Right. You know what else they had? Chowda. Chowda. We had chowda everywhere. Chowda everywhere. Now, what's it was the, all good. Too. It was all good. It's good. I like the New England clam chowder. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? It's creamy. Okay. So, mm -hmm. if you're thinking right off the bat, okay, hey, hooty tooty, those farmers have got some lobster out there. You know, <laughs> Thurston Howe the third of them. Guess what? Today, mm -hmm. I saw lobster tail in the store for six dollars. And it's on sale for that a lot. Six dollars. Right. Look around and you mm -hmm. can find them. Now these obviously are very different. These are big, these are small. Now lobsters can get huge. We saw some up there that were just absolutely right. monstrous. What's the difference between these two lobsters? This is a clawed lobster. The ones you see from Maine mm -hmm. in the Atlantic cold water, they have a big claw. These are a spiny lobster from the south. When we go to the Keys, that's what, that's what we, we get. Eat. When you go to the Bahamas, that's what we get. These are wonderful. Now we just yeah. had the tails today mm -hmm. because they're easily available in most stores. You know, now that they get this fancy refrigeration thing, everybody's getting them, these air mm -hmm. conditioning things, that's I right. think it's catching on. I do too. I think it's gonna, <laughs> the ice boxes are on their way out. You know, we had some lobster with the claw so big, remember they had to break it with a hammer. I mean, we had a claw like this. Now one of our favorite things to do is travel. Now that's not for everybody. Some some people right. don't like the the whole process of packing your bags and but you know we pack light. We know how to pack we do. now, and we love seeing different parts of the country. Mark Twain said this: Twenty years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, and discover. I love Mark Twain. I do too. He was a wise man. He was mm -hmm. a fun man. I used to love to read all his books. But anyhow, if you have the opportunity, and travel is getting cheap, some of the airlines, you can go all over the United States right. for 60 bucks. Yeah. So check, look right. around, see what you can do. Now, our goal was to bring some of these recipes back, right. and we're going to Kentucky fine them for you. <laughs> We got some good stuff. Something else we did, you did. Mm -hmm. Shame on you. What'd you do? Where do we have to go? Okay, we're on vacation. 
that means we get to eat dessert. Yeah. You know, I do remember one time you getting a, a Sunday. It was a cupcake Sunday. Do you remember that carrot cake? So you in Newport. Yeah, I got a picture of you doing that. But yeah. also, I love cannolis. So we yeah. went to a bakery that was over 100 years old, and ate a good cannoli. You know what a cannoli is? Most of you do. Let me show you something. A lot of you may have seen these. What they say on them is Miracle Maze. These are for making cornbread sticks. Mm -hmm. So tonight, we're not having cannolis. The bright idea hit me. <laughs> Kelly's husband, Darren, mm -hmm. his grandmother, right. gave these to him. Right. He gave them to us. We're making cornolis. That's right, because usually a cannoli has a form to yeah. fry, so we, we came up with our own thing. Instead of frying right. that form around there, you love I like phyllo phyllo dough. dough. You can make phyllo dough in your own home, mm -hmm. and she's gonna make some tonight, and we're having cornolis. Cornolis, and they're good. It's wonderful, it's absolutely <laughs> wonderful. And you can be surprised at some of the ingredients that I was. I, I really was, was too. All right, back to lobster roll. So as we traveled up the coast, we tried these lobster right. rolls, and typically, it seemed like the medium price was about $18. Right. There's a lot of lobster in it for that, though. A lot of lobster. I mean, a whole, you saw mm -hmm. the claw and the tail and so on and so forth. So what I noticed was we had some bread that was okay. Yeah. And we had some bread that was not very good at all. Yeah. If I'm gonna have a lobster roll, how about some butter and garlic That's right. and have that bread toasted Lots and ready butter. to go? That's right. Now let's take a look at some pictures here. Here's the traditional, which is kind of a salad with right. mayonnaise and lettuce. You and had that one. You tried yeah. that one. And you tried the one with the butter. Called the naked lobster. I liked it better. And I'm, I liked it much better. Yeah. So when you cook your lobster, there's several different things you can do. Now Uncle Bob, Uncle yep. Bob, Uncle Bob, he always likes to put some. Lemon, mm -hmm. some celery, some onion. Sometimes a carrot. Yeah, I mean, if you're yeah. just gonna eat the lobster and just want the taste of that, that's fine. The way we're gonna do it is just gonna boil the lobster. You can put a little Old Bay in there yeah. if you like. The first thing we have to do is get our water boiled. I'll tell you what let's do. Now we got a big guy here. He's mm -hmm. gonna have to cook a little bit longer than okay. these guys. And uh, you know, for a lobster this size, lobster tail, seven, eight, 10 minutes max, that's gonna have to go a little bit longer, yeah. obviously. And that was frozen earlier today. Right. So go ahead and drop them all. Well, let's just. We'll pull those a little earlier. Now, these Royal Reds, mm -hmm. if you can't find some lobster, these Royal Reds will suffice. So, I think they taste a lot So a like shrimp lobster. roll. Absolutely love them. Right. Do a shrimp roll. Shrimp roll. Those are looking pretty good. Yes, they are. So we're gonna pull here in a few minutes our smaller tails on our shrimp. Now we're gonna take these top split buns here. These just happen to be store-bought. Those are good-looking ones. They're butter rolls. That we've, mm -hmm. We found the softest ones we possibly could. We're going to brush some butter, put a little garlic butter in there, set those in the oven, and just let them brown just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit till they get some brown on them. All right, she's going to take the uh, shrimp and the small shrimp lobsters shrimp. out. All right, you just put those under cold water and right, cut them out, down a little and bit. boom, you're ready to go. These scissors are amazing. The ones that Tracy got me, so... I just usually cut. Now this is the Nikki method. You may have your own, but it works. I usually just cut down both sides. Sometimes I get a perfect one out, but this is, and sometimes it comes in pieces, but we, we're gonna put it in pieces anyway. You can find those on sale for six bucks. That's right. And again, a Burger King Whopper meal costs almost $8. That's right. Look at that so, wonderful piece oh, right there. Look at what I'm, mm. Perfect. So look what we got, Mrs. Farmer. We got a toasted delicious. bun, and we got a lobster. Now, you are gonna go straight butter. Straight butter. I'm gonna do a one one. We're gonna take a cup of mayonnaise. We're gonna take some stone ground mustard, whatever kind of mustard you got is fine, about an eighth of a cup. Then we're gonna take one clove of garlic. I'm gonna press that into this. Then we're gonna take three quarters of a tablespoon of some smoked paprika. That's good stuff. That is Chipotle. good. Then I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of Tony's. Then I'm gonna take about one and a half teaspoons of horseradish. Then I gotta have me some crystal in there. I love my crystal hot sauce. One teaspoon of that. And stir that up, and that's our version of Rumelon. Then if you wanna put, a lot of people put like sweet pickle juice. Mm -hmm. We'll put some of that in there. Now I really do think on the back end of this, when you put a little sweet pickle juice in there, yeah, it, makes gives, it, good. it gives you the sweet and the salty, and it, it just makes it. <laughs> I'm getting excited, Mrs. Farmer. So here's where we're at. Oh wow, we're ready. So we're just cut cutting. that up. Yeah, a little bit smaller pieces than that. Right? Oh, I'm so yeah. excited for this. That one lobster is gonna fill a whole roll here. Now we're doing two different things here. We're gonna do yours 
Okay. We're just sticking with the garlic butter with you. That's what I like. I'm gonna do the rum a lot. All right, now where normally it would be just mayonnaise up on the coast with a little lettuce and salad. I don't want all. Don't want all that. I don't want any salad. That's right. You gotta taste the lobster. All right. Go ahead and pop that on. There. Oh, are you looking at what I'm seeing here? Now, is there any law against me having the best of both worlds? No. You can have a little butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just douse some garlic butter on there for you, Mrs. Thank Ronald. you so much. You say when? I could use some more. I like a lot. This is this dripping. Is a, this is our first course, and this is just, I mean, this is so simple, <laughs> but I mean, if you go up the East Coast, every place claims to have the best, the best. lobster roll. That's fine. That's the biggest crawd I ever did see. You ready? I am so ready. This is how it was, just packed on there. You got your money's worth. That's good. That right there. That's good. With the ramelade. Are you kidding me? Good. That combination with the butter. Oh. The toasted buns does it, because some places didn't toast their buns. They didn't. I like that with and the, the garlic bread was and butter. Almost stale. Yeah, this is good. Ooh. We're gonna have to turn the cameras off and devour these. But you know what, while we're eating these, let's talk about another thing we did. As you're on the coast, we took a trip out into Boston Harbor. Right, that was we fun. We saw the USS Constitution. We saw all kinds of really cool stuff. Nice tour. Historic sites mm -hmm. where this was the birth of the right. nation happened right there. All these battles, all these men who sacrificed their lives for this mm -hmm. country. So as we looked around and visited, we had to go out sailing. You like, you wanted to sail. That's when we were eating the lobster rolls you saw, the we sailboat by go where, by. Where Jackie Bouvier grew up. Yeah, as a little girl. And we saw mansions. Oh, they're unbelievable. And then we, the two young guys, they were a hoot on the boat. And they, uh, we told them to take some pictures of us. We ended up with pictures of them. They took pictures they're, of themselves. They were, a hoot. they were funny. But that was a lot of fun sailing <laughs> out there. This is absolutely beautiful with that. I thought about that. I mean, bring this back to the south, put a little rum laid on there. Oh, my. So we're going to eat these and mm -hmm. then we're going to come back with our next round. Yum.